journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I'm going to review the charts I was talking about uh, before I forgot to put the uh, automatic uh, share screen up. So it's my fault. Uh, this is the S&P. You can see here uh, today's the rally was exactly 382 of the high we made uh, yesterday on July 16th. That was only just a almost basic a brand new high. And now we've got a price objective down here of 45.75. That should be met today, and then we'll see uh, another rally. One thing you want to remember now, we've had our first pretty good rally after this break. So watch any rally that comes in after this time because that's about all you're going to get. And that's from uh, 76. It's usually uh, uh, 35 points. For Watch for a 35-point rally after the bottom is made, okay, because that shouldn't rally any more than that. The question that I was posed to me before was about the NASDAQ. I want to get the NASDAQ up here. This is the 60-minute that we were trying to talk about. So the NASDAQ couldn't even come close to a 382. You can see there was yesterday, but there was no 382. All we had this morning was this ABCD pattern right here that stopped right where it should have. And then, of course, it came down. And if we, you can see we're far below the 1.618 level now, folks. So this has triggered some pretty good selling. You've got to remember something. Let me get this four-hour chart up here to, to show you. You see how this thing went up for um, five weeks with only one little correction? Boys and girls, look, we're almost ready to take out the June 15th low today, June 24th low. We've, we've matched it. So getting below that is going to say everybody, in other words, everybody that bought this thing for the last two and a half weeks is now looking at the cash register saying, uh oh, what happened? Now, there's a chance that this could hold. If we look at this from the low to the high, we stopped at the, uh, well, we stopped, well, we, we almost stopped at the 618 right here. Now we're, now we're trading below it. But to me, this looks very, very negative. And we do have, you know, this larger ABC data is extended down. So uh, I would be looking for lower prices in here. Yesterday, we talked about these stocks that are in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And, folks, if you're going to trade that Dow Jones, you've got to pay attention to a couple of these stocks. There are five major stocks that control this thing. One is Goldman Sachs. Two is United Healthcare. This is Goldman Sachs. It had a high of uh, 512 was the thing. It had a high yesterday of uh, 510. If we take a look at United Healthcare, uh, that's Goldman Sachs. Hold on. United Healthcare is right here. United Healthcare had a price of 572. These are the two most expensive stocks in the Dow Jones. Remember, they are price weighted. You take that, okay, and multiply the price, and that gives the weighting, not with not with the number of shares. That means it's cap weighted, which everything should be. But the Dow Jones, because of the Dow Jones family, they get to do what they want, so it's price weighted. So it's the Dow Jones number one stock. United Healthcare, number two, is uh, Goldman Sachs. Uh, number three is Home Depot. Four is Amgen. Oh, excuse me, four is Microsoft, and then Amgen and Caterpillar. If you just took those those six stocks, uh, those six stocks, folks, you you, you cover about ninety percent of the Dow Jones, and that's what ran the Dow Jones up so much during the time when the S and P and the Nasdaq were falling out of bed. They're totally different indices. So that's what I'm paying attention to here. I believe, you know, this thing that we worked on that has a possibility now is certainly a tradable top, if nothing else. If we look at the Dow Jones, this is the Dow Jones average. Now, this is a day late because I didn't get to put the one in from yesterday when we got up to 51.3 uh, uh, or something like that. It's still completed. The ABCD was complete. You can see the symmetry between the three drive patterns, drive one. Drive two, drive three, and I think it's pretty big. The thing that's important, folks, look at the look at the low volume on this breakout. Give me a break. 
come on, give me a break. Look at this breakout here. I mean, at least yeah, you got to have some people. Here's the breakout here. Look at this breakout. This is something's wrong. There's no participation. And I that's my two cents, and I'm sticking to it. All right, let's move on and cover a couple other things that you folks might want to be looking at. And one here is the gold market. Let's get up here for just a second here, and we want to cover the gold. Where is the gold over here? Oh, had a beauty today. We put this on the video last night, and uh, let's get this up here on a, uh, a smaller time frame. And there it is. We were watching for this to make a 382 in the crude oil. We had it written down, and you're from the high to your low, you'll see that it came in at uh, right here at 44. Your stop had to go below the 50% level. You see it went down here just a little bit and went against you about uh, 30 pips, and now uh, it's up well over $1,000. So that's another one. If you belong to the, the, the videos that we sent out uh, last night or in the morning, these are the trade setups that we try to line up uh, to help you make a couple of bucks here and there. There was another one that did okay. So we were having, having one of those days. I wish this was one of those trading days on Friday, but it's not. So let's take a look here. This is the soybean. Now, we did this on the radio show yesterday. I did it in the video last night also. Here is the chart. If you remember here, we were looking here at this level. Let's get this thing here together on the weekly chart so I can – draw it up together because there's what we were looking for this was the long-term weekly and if we measured from your low up to your high you'll see that the uh, uh where does it go in right here right here this is it right here excuse me folks give me a second here i want to draw this in so you'll be able to see it for some reason for so there it is right there there it is right there we were saying this would be a pretty good chance to buy the beans here at uh, 35, 36, somewhere in that ball, 37, and it's rallied about seven cents, eight, well, actually a little more than that. You'll see it had a pretty good rally off the bottom. So if you bought it down in here, you want to have your stop at break even because all we did was rally just a very, very sh small amount. But now you're in a risk free situation, so you don't have to risk very much. If we'd have watched this on a smaller time frame, there's your ABCD on your eight minute, which I should have done in the video, but I didn't. It would have taken you right to the exact low at uh, 1032, and that would have been even better, and that's what's going on. And on a short-term basis, now let's just look at it on a short term, we had a pretty nice run-up and then a pullback, and then we had another pullback. You see how these are equal? This is, means the market is starting to find some harmony once again on the upside. That was a retracement, and that's pretty much close to retracement. But this is the one that's most important, and here's why. If you go from your low up to your high, now you know why the answer is why. It's why is because of this right here, folks. And Johnny's got his little pack lured up, and it says 0 .382, and that was a nice place if you wanted to buy it. Again, now if you bought that extra contract, you'd have your stop right at break even here, and make sure you can't lose on these trades, folks. This is the whole key. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. And let's do something else. Let's pay some bills for our Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're taking a look now at the daily chart of the gold. The reason why is if you'll notice here, since May 20th this holiday, Memorial Day, we had an ABCD and we've made it up here to 24.73. The high was 24.88, so it went $16, one, harmon one half harmonic higher, but we want to keep keep watching that the reason why folks this has the potential and it already is because it's turned down there's drive one there's drive two and there's drive three right there okay so that comes in at 473 now you don't necessarily sell at 473 when it's going straight up right because if you put a ten dollar stop you got stopped out so what would you do yes johnny i see the number 382 we're going to go down now and go down to an eight minute chart to see what happened after the high was made and here well, oh dear we had a couple of beauties in here shut the front door and raise the rent here was your first one right here folks there's your first abcd pattern came in right here the second one the blind man could see there it is. It came in at the 50% uh, level. So if you sold at the 382, your stop would have been there. But look at this one, folks. This is the real beauty. Look at that perfect ABCD. And here I am watching Bloomberg to see what was going on with all the things that are happening in Milwaukee right there. And there's your target. Remember that ABCD target we looked at, 2472? There it was right there. And look what's happened since that time. If you like ABCD, and I do, there's your AB. This is going to be your low for the day, whatever it is down here. We came pretty close to it. We're right down here around 24.55. That's three bucks from where we are right now. And if you look at that real closely, there was a small 382 uh, right in here off of the high. Didn't do very much. There's your high. There's your 382 right in here. Now remember, this is, takes a half hour to do it, so that's certainly acceptable if you're looking at a, you know, an eight minute or a four minute or five minute. You're getting patterns that you can see. But what we really need to look at is the divergence that's happening in the silver market. This is what's really surprising to me because silver should have been a lot stronger than it was. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the daily up just like we did with the gold. And you're going to see here that silver, instead of going up and making new highs, didn't make new highs. It only got up to the 78% level right here. See, there's your 78% level from your high right here to your low. We made that uh, last week. 
Okay, I'm missing a little dating. Oh, they're switching the contracts over. But this is what's happened now. Let's check this going back, and we're going to now look at it at the hourly and see if there was anything there. And, oh, dear, my goodness, shut the front door and raise the rent. This is beautiful, folks. I, this is a perfect head and shoulders pattern here. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. The reason why, Andrew Lowe said, from the left shoulder to the head should be equal to the right shoulder in price, or, or at least in price. Hold on a second. Get this out of the way here. It doesn't fit with the symmetry, but look at the head and shoulder pattern on the pricing. See how this one is lower than the left side? That means it's a bearish head and shoulders pattern. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Where does it come in? Probably exactly at the old, oh my goodness, there's an ABCD. Let's just draw that in since we're in the business of looking at ABCDs. It's actually right there, and it's pretty close to the exact 618. We'll draw that in so we can see. And that tells us that, you know, silver is already going down. It's already made its objective, I believe. My goodness, it's, it's down for six days, and here's here's where we are. That would be the objective here in silver. This is something we got to watch right now, boys and girls, because it just hit it. Sure did. All right, now. Game two, we go to a four-hour chart. We want to see if there's a 382 lurking in the woods here. There isn't. All we have now is we're setting right at the 50% level. There was the first 382. There's that ABCD that we're looking at right now. We are a major support here. Actually, it went through it, and it's trading right at it right now, isn't it? 25. Yeah, it's trading exactly at that number. But why would be really scary about this one? Let me show you why. After we hit this number here, which was 2070, okay, right now we're trading at 24 and a half. Look what happened now, folks, from the high that we made two days ago on the 16th. Let's look at it closely so we can see it together, see if we can make any inference of what's going on. So there was the ABCD. Let's, I'm going to draw it again right now so everybody can see it. Oh, I'm going to try to draw it in. There's your A leg, B leg, C leg, ABCD right on the right on the money here's the problem folks right there and Johnny's got his card up again and it went exactly to the 3A2 and you know what you have to do you got to sell the 3A2 and that tells us that silver is heading lower probably the same as gold and we're going to get down here at least to this level here at 29 bucks which is the 78 percent level on the longer term chart move that over and that's where silver's going. That's where you want to be. And it's also a 1.618. That's down a dollar a barrel, from, from <laughs> a dollar a bushel from where we are right now. So let's uh, keep an eye on that one. Very, very interesting uh, to take a look at that. We've had a question about copper. I don't trade copper. Don't even look at it very much. But since there's a question, we're going to bring it up. And there is copper right here. I'll just put in a September, and we'll see what we've got for September. Uh, we better have some more data, and I think we will. Let's just refresh and see what we got here. There we go. Here's a September copper. Oh, we just had a monster 382 here, folks, just a few days ago. Oh, that looks like it's absolutely spot on. My goodness. Well, that tells you stocks are going lower too, doesn't it? There's your AB, CD. There it is right there. Here's your 382. Let's look at this on the hourly. Copper is fun to trade. I don't trade it very often, but it has great swings. And hopefully they'll come up here someday. I don't know why it's so slow, but uh, I'm going to hit refresh. That might do it. Nope. I don't know what the problem is. So I, oh, there it is. There's the problem. Okay. Now, you'll see here we don't have any head and shoulders in here, folks. These are lower tops and lower bottoms. That's all we're looking at all the way down here. You can see, this, you can see the A, B, C, D patterns as you see them. There's A, B, C, D coming in. And then we have another one, A, B. B, C, D coming in here, and then it really starts. And there's where your 382s will come in and lead you to the promised land because you have this low here. You have a small A, B, C, D, and that's all it is is a bounce of a 382 off of probably one of these highs back here. Let's just double check it just to see how close we are from this high down to there. Uh, that's a 50%, so the other one must be – and they're, they're so small that you got to have magnifying glass to see it, but there's your high. 
and uh, your 382, it actually misses it. So you, you, don't, you don't even, well, you have an ABCD because this is slightly higher, but no 382. You do have a 382 right here, though. There is one right here. And remember, that took four hours to complete. And there's the 382 spot on. And we're going lower in the copper and, and considerably lower. Just looking at this, looking at this, let's just draw the big ABCD. And we got to get ready for Mr. Winsky who's in the house. We're going down to 388, another 40 cents lower in L copper, folks. So keep it on your watch list, lower prices, lower price, silver, lowest prices in silver and gold. And let's stay tuned for, let's check the old watch on the wall here. We'll be right back with Norm Winsky, folks. gold report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at tfnn.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit tfnn.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we, excuse me, I believe we have Norm Winsky of Astro Trends on the line. Norman, how are you today? Hello, Larry. Thanks for having me on. It's my pleasure. I have one question for you, Norman. Do you know an astrologer by the name of Brandon Bakes? No. Okay, next question. Tell us what you got for today, buddy. Okay, I was last on your show on July 5th. Uh, just ahead of a new moon, and my hopefully my notes are on the screen okay. there. Norm, and uh, as you can see there, uh, we're going to quickly review. What's that? Go right ahead. The sound came back. Hello? It was a little. It, I'm here. Go right ahead. Okay. Uh, we have the, the notes anybody. on the screen there. Hopefully. Yep. I'm sorry. Ready to go. Go ahead, okay. Norm. Can you, you got hear me now? I can hear you now. Can you hear me? No, I can't hear you. Yes, I can hear you, can. Norm. Yes, yes, I can. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we got the. <laughs> we got. We're. we're well, I was blessed on on the fifth of July, and just ahead of a new moon. I'm going to re quickly review the forecasts I made back then. Then we'll look at the charts. Then I'll tell you what's coming up. Okay. So uh, uh, we had uh, the AC is after the close. That's what the, right there, AC after the close. So over the weekend, we had a new moon in Cancer on the 5th, uh, fifth weekend 5th, uh, the 5th. Uh, that's anytime we have new moon, full moon. We look at financials, grains, precious metals. And because the new moon was in the sign of Cancer, that uh, that's uh, uh, silver. We're going to emphasize silver. And, oh, we also include oil on new moons and full full moons. Then the night of the ninth, that's after the close of the ninth, we had Venus perihelion. That's uh, from the Greek perihelion, Helios' sun. Venus was at its closest point to the sun in its 225-day cycle. And uh, we look at the planet, the markets that are ruled by Venus, that are cattle, copper, corn, cotton, and then because the sun is involved, we also be looking at gold and, uh, and, you know, and gold. So we got, oh, sugar and wheat, those are Venus markets. Then the morning of the, actually, this should be the, this that was a weekend, so I got to change that now. Sorry about that. Okay. After the close of Friday the 12th, we had the moon's north node uh, line up with the U.S. Neptune. And it has to do with the U.S. natal chart when the country was founded on the 4th of July. 1776. Anytime we have that, we look at stocks, T bonds, U.S. dollar, and because it is to the U.S. Neptune, we will include oil. Then the night of the 15th, Jupiter again to the U.S. chart, stocks, T bonds, U.S. dollar, and then uh, kind of the big whammy here recently, we had Mercury, which is if you've been following me for any length of time. Uh, you know, I'm big on when the planets get to zero latitude and Mercury got to zero south latitude the night of the 16th. And I think everybody knows what happened there. Big down the next day overnight with the NASDAQ and the S&P. And we also want it. Mercury is green, so you want to, want to be looking at corn, soybeans, wheat. So here's your corn chart. There's the moon. Market rallied up a little bit into the moon and then big down. Uh, over here that uh, we went sideways here in our third our second uh, point for the moon uh, that was the uh, uh, oh yeah uh, Venus perihelion and that was a sideways and then over here uh, it did not uh, you just didn't go anywhere you want to handle small loss you know uh, here's the beans rallying into the moon and then a big down and then similar to the corn uh, it didn't really go anywhere so that's that and here we go. Here's the wheat. I had a very nice top here on the moon, on the new moon. And then a big down, then sideways for the uh, Venus point. And then here we had a nice low here over there for the, uh, what was that, the, uh, uh, sorry about the mercury, mercury, mercury. Yeah, mercury made a low for wheat. Uh, here's the cattle. That's a Venus market. Big down there. And then we're buying right near that low and then eventually it worked its way higher. Here's cotton, and it's even better. Big down into the low over there for Venus for cotton, and and uh, then up, up, up. Here's the sugar. It did not work on the same point, and that's a miss. Uh, here's crude oil. We had the moon over here. Oh, I should, uh oh, I think I made a mistake. 
Uh, all right. Well, we'll just have to ignore it. Uh, it should have been uh, probably should have been a high there for the moon. I missed that one. Just putting it on the chart here. And uh, then we had a low there, and then a miss over here. So we should have had uh, two wins and a loss. But because I missed it, I'll have to uh, ignore it. Here, cotton, copper made a little short-term low there. It doesn't look like much, but copper, as you know, Larry, is a beast. Every penny is $250. And if it moved up, I think uh, it moved up about 10 cents or so there, uh, maybe 8 cents, that would be about two grand, you know. Uh, here's silver, perfect, right on the moon there. You're making a top there on the silver. And I gave that double credit because I was featuring silver because the new moon was in the, its sign of cancer. Here's the gold making a top on the moon, and then it made a low on Venus perihelion, and then a, big, a huge rally for the rest of the month from that low. Here's the S&P, our first point, the moon. It kind of ignored that, just went kind of higher to sideways. So you would have had a small loss there. We're sideways here. Sideways is yellow box. We do nothing when it goes sideways. Then over here, we got a little, did a little better. We had the two points here, one a U.S. point, and the, uh, let's see, we had the U.S. point, uh, the two U.S. points there, and those were good just ahead of that big top there. Uh, oh, and the Mercury, not to mention the Mercury, uh, we should mention the Mercury at zero latitude there, too. Okay, and here's your bonds. We had three points for the bonds. We had the moon and two U.S. points there. And uh, the, and so that was a short-term top there. We made a short-term low there and there on our two points. And then nice rally there on the bonds. Here's the dollar uh, making a little bit of a short-term low there with a little bit of a bouncer, small profit there. Nicer profit here on the U.S. point there. And that U.S. point there was really good because then it had a big down. Uh, we buy a, buy on the weakness, sell on the strength. Here's the currency. It's just on the moon alone. There's a short-term top there in the Aussie dollar, short-term top in the British pound. Uh, the Canadian dollar went kind of nowhere. Uh, if you bought there, it just went sideways. And the euro is made a little short-term top there, a little bit of a down for small profit. And the yen was a little bit better. You had a nicer move there on the end. So adding up what I officially marked on the charts, 24 winners, 6 misses out of 30 for 80%. Here's what's coming up this weekend. We have a full moon in the sun at Capricorn. Got to so pay a few bills. Got to pay a few okay. bills. We'll yes, wait sir. for moon in Capricorn. Happens to be my sister's birthday, Carla Lynn Pesavento's birthday. Okay. 79 years old. Right. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. 
Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. We're talking with Norm Winsky of AstroTrans. Please continue, Norm. Uh, just a quick correction. I went back and uh, corrected that uh, crude oil chart, and uh, that should have been a miss there on the crude oil. Let me get back there real quick. There we go, this one here, right there on the moon. Okay. And so that's a miss. So I got to recalculate my numbers. And now we got 24 out of 31, seven misses for 77.42%. So I don't know if you'll have me back on again, Larry, after I, being I doubt it. I doubt it, Norm. I doubt it. It's, we can't handle stuff like that. I mean, that that's an error. In fact, my attorney's on the other line right now. They want to get your personal address so they can come down and talk to you about the lawsuit, Okay. Okay. Norm, I, got a, I have a question for you, buddy, from one of our listeners on the air, and that is you give these dates, okay? The problem is there's 24 hours in a day, and uh -huh. sometimes does, how do you know if whether it comes in early in the morning or does it come in in the afternoon? How do you know what time that, that exact thing happens? Well, is, then you have is, to use a little technical analysis. Use your stuff, Larry, to kind of pinpoint Help pinpoint that price. Oh, you, know? you mean the stuff that never fails? Yes, yes, the old secret. Yes, yes. Well, we don't give that out to everybody, Norm. That's the problem. But we'll we'll make allowances this time. But that but is the, the answer. The, the good thing is, Larry, I hear it's as simple as A, B, C, you know? D, D. You forgot the D, Norm. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Keep going, my friend. All right. So we have coming up here this weekend, we have a full moon and the sign of Capricorn. Every time we have, every time we have a full moon or moon, new moon. We look at financials, grains, precious metals, and if it's in a particular sign, command, uh, uh, the, <laughs> I can't say it, the, connected to a market like cough, like Capricorn is coffee, then we yeah. add that to as a extra feature, you know, kind of like the blue light is on a Kmart, you know, mm -hmm. and there we go. So we got the financials, grains, precious metals, and coffee. Then we got the, uh, the also this weekend, we have a Mercury cycle. Mercury is at an extreme in one of its cycles. Uh, anytime we have Mercury, it's corn, soybeans, wheat, and a full moon. Uh, notice the grains and Mercury are com combining here this weekend. So you were talking about, I believe you were talking about soybeans earlier. And mm -hmm. so we might be, I think, are the beans coming down now, Larry, or? Well, they, they bounced off the bottom so far, but only 10 cents. It's really not very much at oh, all. Maybe so. we're going to rally it, top uh, here. I get a rally yeah. top here this weekend, huh? Yeah. All right. And Could then be. later next week, we have the night of the 24th. We have uh, Jupiter to the U.S. chart for stocks, seed bonds, U.S. dollar. Here's another one for the U.S. on the night of the 26th. And then over the weekend, also the night of the 26th, Mercury apihelion. Mercury will be at its farthest point. So the sun has 88-day cycle for corn and uh, gold, soybeans, wheat. So there you go. There's. I'll leave that on if you want to take a screenshot. Uh, one, two, three. Take your screenshot. 
Okay, moving ahead. Here we go. Here's my bio here. I've been doing this a long time, almost as long as Larry, about 45, 50 years, depending upon where you start counting. I started trading in college there at good old Indiana State University in Terre Haute, Larry's hometown, and uh, did well enough to end up buying a membership on the Chicago Board Options Exchange right out of college there in 1975. I was a market maker member and market maker there on the CBOE back when we had humans on the trading floor. <laughs> and here's how you can get a hold of me. I'll be happy to talk to you. There's no, no nobody else here to answer the phone except me, and I actually answer the phone. And 239-594-3939. I'm in, Flor in Florida, 239-594-3939. Or you can call me on Skype at nwhiskeyyahoo.com. Or you can email me at the same address, nwhiskeyyahoo.com. And looking forward to helping some of the folks, Larry, and maybe somebody has some questions there in the Tiger Day. We, we had one question and followed up by another question. Do you, uh, in your opinion, the question is, your opinion is, which is stronger, a new moon or a full moon? Uh, I don't, don't, I don't know. I, d I couldn't say. Um, well, the attorney's on his way. He's going to ask you about that one, too. Okay? Okay. <laughs> You're doing good. No, that's right. That's, we have to ask these questions because if they ask him, I don't know either. You know, I just uh, know that one is zero is the full, uh, the new moon, and at 180 degrees is the new moon. Is that correct? The uh, full moon. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. This thing exactly. of the moon has a big mirror in the sky. The moon has mm -hmm. no light of its own. It gets its light from the sun. The sun, mm -hmm. the light from the sun goes, bounces off the moon. And comes the Earth, and so when they're opposite the Earth, one on each side, the sun, the sunlight goes to the moon, and then we see a full moon. If the moon is on the same side as the sun, then obviously it's not bouncing toward the Earth; it's bouncing back toward the sun, and so it looks like a big black disc in the sky. That's okay. Moon. Well, listen, my friend. Thank you for joining us, and we will have you on again soon. Okay. Thank you very much, Larry. It's my pleasure, Norm. Oh, Norm, what day okay. were you born? What was your birth date? My date, birthday is not... February 17th. It's the age of Aquarius. Well, that sounds good. All right. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye. You bet. Norm Winsky, folks, of Astro Trends out of Florida. Hold on one second. The one thing he did say, he said that it's non-human down there. It was never human down on those trading floors, folks. It's really tough. Let me get the, tr the uh, charts up. We want to get here one second here so we can take a look what's going on. Just give me one second here, boys and girls. I've got to do something else here. Oh, dear. How did that get up there? Hold on one second here. All right. Here's where we're going to go. There's where we want to go. Screen and share and go live it's not it's memorex okay here's where we are right here now we get it we got a chart from jim bartoglioni just the other day and i wanted to bring it to your attention because you remember in the semiconductors this goes back a very long time folks back to 09 and what you're looking at now is a giant abcd pattern that's completed up here in the semiconductors on a long-term monthly basis remember Jim told us about the big crash in the regional banks a year or so ago, right before they crashed. So he's looking for a high up here uh, in the semiconductors. So maybe that's what the NASDAQ is sensing, sensing that we have something like that, you know, going on uh, in the market. Now, there was one other what I wanted to remind you of. This is the... Uh, the market from 1966 through 1982. This 16-year period, folks, a high on the Dow was 1,050 on the si on the high end, and 560 on the downland. There's a, a 500 points for 16 years, and of course, when it broke out, it's never looked back. Anyway, that's what that's what we're watching here. This is where. Nixon res uh, resigned, okay? And I understand from Bloomberg today there's a 50-50 chance that Mr. Biden, because he has COVID right now, is probably going to step aside. Whether that's going to mean something like this, I don't know. I'm just showing you it's happening around the time. This was August the 8th of uh, 1973. So um, that uh, that's what it – there was our big low. That was a three-drive to a bottom pattern. This was a giant ABCD. Nixon was, or uh, what's his name was? This was this was April. Uh, right here is when Nixon was elected. Right here, right near the top of the market in November of uh, 1980, and the market topped in January of 81 and went down for 
11 months to the bottom in August of 82, where it was the big bottom, and that was a monster one. We're going to take a break, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and please stay with us for one more commercial. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, just a word of caution here. Uh, we were looking for a top here over the last few weeks, and this may be it. Um, it's so far these few days of the week uh, through Thursday it's certainly telling us that and we've broken through some major support as you can see here so just be careful you should be careful no matter what going up or down because you don't know what's going to happen next so you got to stop or oh my goodness the, the bell went off pretty good here and I can't see what's going on shut the front door and raise the rent give me a second here ah uh, shucks I can't get the uh I think that's it. I don't know. what I, I, Somebody rang a bell. There was possibly a uh, – I can't tell what's going on. I really don't know, so I can't really say anything. Let me try this one more time. A chart went down. I don't. I can't repost because I'm already out of, the, out of that mode, and I can't get back into it. So these last few seconds, I cannot do that. I'm just trying to warn people that you know, just got to be really careful. It looked really great when it was going up. But remember, when the only way is up, the only way is down. So what goes up must come down. There's nothing new under the sun, whatever those uh, 
things mean, but uh, just be really, really careful. That's what we try to do here. Always worry about your losses. The profits will take care of themselves, and it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. And I'm going to say a quote here from somebody we miss dearly, and that is David White. It's better to sell when you want to than when you have to. So remember those words of David White. Really stand-up guy, excellent technician. We miss him greatly. Well over two years now since David passed away, and he passed away in front of his machine here, you know, trading, which will probably be my nemesis, but that's a good way to go, folks. I've uh, been pretty, pretty lucky doing what I do here, and i got some wonderful folks here at TFNN that helped me out, and I love having you guys join me. So got live trading coming up next Friday, not this Friday, but on the 26th. So we'll have some fun. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 